So I stay in um, the posterior hyoid with um, membrane dual because I have to do a PVD. But let's first examine the per peripheral retina, which is attached. So I'm happy. I see no peripheral detachment. But how come this huge central detachment extending over the arcade? This is a nice contact lens from Oculus Germany. The first step is a PVD under contact lens. I want to be careful, don't want to damage the macula. So this is a careful central PVD. Then I remove the contact lens to extend the PVD to the periphery. I think you saw the vice ring, which is a sign for successful PVD. Here it is, the vice ring. Um, I extended just now the nasal pole. So this is easy stuff. So next staining is uh, the ILM staining. And again, contact lens. And <clears throat> now watch this interesting. You see that the retina is detached when I'm doing When I'm doing ILM peeling, you see the detached retina. It's a shallow detachment, but extends, it extends over far over the inferior arcade. Is this only caused by this VMTS, or is a retina detachment present? You could peel with perfluorocarbon. This is on the border um, case, I think, but it functions with without perfluorocarbon. You could actually also question: Is an ILM peeling necessary? Because this is a VMTS. Um, I wanted to be on the safe side. Fluid air exchange and then a uh, C2F6 gas tamponade. <clears throat> but before doing this, I want to do a thorough um, removal of subretinal fluid. I'm using a vacuum cleaner. And now note how the, um, the subretinal fluid disappears. Now it is completely gone. This is a silicon tip vacuum cleaner. Very carefully, now C2 of 6 tamponade. And that is the case. Let's have a look at the uh, post operative follow up. <coughs> oh, yes, actually, <coughs> I looked once more on the OCT from the surgical day. And yes, the inferior arcade was detached. So you see this is a broad detachment and now comes the one month follow up and it shows a completely attached and nice macula but function is low <clears throat> 0 0.1